it's like to be inside your mother's womb. Have you ever thought about why people have to age? Is it inevitable? You're on the verge of having a life that most people can't even begin to imagine. So wait, what, what, what the hell are you offering me? You're offering me one pill. So what's it gonna be, Brian? You ready to become somebody who matters? This conversation is here and nowhere else. You describe it to your parents, the FBI, to anyone. I will let you die more painfully than you can fathom. It doesn't look like there's a fast way out here. What if suddenly you knew how much strength you had in your hands? I mean exactly how much. Remember every documentary you ever saw, every trig class. Could you do the math? Could you figure out exactly where that train is going to stop? For many decades, scientists have attempted to enhance the human brain by use of chemical substances opening new pathways and enhancing pre-existing ones, enabling humans to perform mental tasks far superior to an average human brain. While it's true that proper eating, physical, and educational habits can determine the health of a brain, the pill you see now could change everything. This is modafinil, the ultimate brain pill. Well guys, this is it right here, modafinil, also known as Provigil. This tiny pill contains 200 milligrams, and I'm not a certified doctor, but from my research I found that over 500 milligrams you start to get into the unsafe zone. Bottoms up. I'm often asked, what are the side effects of modafinil? Well, let's go through them. Side effects may include, but are not limited to, headaches, nausea, dizziness, upset stomach, and trouble sleeping. These are common side effects to most pills, and through my usage, I have not suffered any of these effects. You might be wondering, what does this pill do? Usually, when someone talks about a brain pill, you think of something like this. You know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? This lets you access all of it. Sorry to stop the video so soon, but I have to clarify this misleading statement just made by the film. When he said, we only access 20% of our brain, that is a complete myth that has been debunked by neurologists for many years. Okay, rant is over. Let's continue with this embellished Hollywood film. I was blind, but now I see. You know, it's nice to imagine there's a pill out there that can solve all your problems, transform you into a mental genius, and make you rich and powerful. But this is simply not realistic. But I've still had many people come and ask me, what is the closest thing that I can get in public right now on the market that is as close to the limitless pill as possible? Well, that's modafinil. Let's go back to the previous question. What does this pill do? 
Modafinil was originally intended for people who had narcolepsy, the sleep disorder. But if you're an average person suffering from no medical issues, modafinil gives you amazing potential such as increased alertness, more energy, increased attentiveness, it improves your cognitive domains, increases concentration, to a kind of secret society, a hidden edge discovered by some very successful Americans. We discovered sales of a little pill are not just booming. We have traced a 74% increase in these sales in four years. So what is it? Does it work? And what is the risk? Here's ABC's Dan Harris. They are all around us, a secret society of the successful. The lobbyist who wakes up at five for two full workouts before work. It's amazing. I just don't get it why more people don't know about it. The computer programmer who can now write code for 12 hours at a time. It helps you focus up for exceptionally long periods of time. And the brain researcher finding connections nobody else is seeing. It's just a clear day. The fog isn't there. And they all say they owe it to this drug, ProVigil. It's only approved for narcolepsy, sleep apnea, or for people who work irregular hours. But many people are now taking it for an off-label use to boost energy and focus. The drug, which excites the mind so much it's been nicknamed Viagra for the brain, is quietly being used by military pilots, pro athletes, and pro poker players. On the internet, there are hundreds of sites evangelizing for ProVigil, explaining how to get your doctor to prescribe it to you, or how to get it without a prescription. In fact, there is literally one site called buyprovigilwithoutprescription.com. Many ProVigil users are secretive, but not Dave Asprey, a successful executive who often wakes up at 4.45, pops a pill, makes breakfast for the kids. Really? There you go. And also flies all over the world as VP of a billion dollar internet security firm. This can be the difference between I'm just making it through the day to I had like the best day of my life. Dave says he once flew 20 hours to Australia with almost no sleep, got off the plane, took a pro vigil, and delivered a series of speeches that were so good they made the local papers. As, as a well, kind of experiment, we asked Dave to stop taking the drug for three days and undergo uh, cognitive tests to measure his concentration and reaction time. During this whole 72-hour period, he said he just felt off. I've noticed that my speech is very slightly altered. After three days, I watched as he popped a provigil. All right, so I guess let's do it. Let's see. It took only 17 minutes for him to snap back. The world suddenly seemed brighter, he said. Dave compared it to the scene in The Wizard of Oz where it goes from black and white to color. And remember those cognitive tests? Even we could see it on the screen, a pronounced improvement over the day before. Which, of course, raises this question. Should we all be on ProVigil? We called doctors all over the country to ask them if there's a downside. They told us there are rare cases of people developing a life-threatening rash, but the truth is most people don't suffer any side effects. Give me five. There is, however, one big fear, and it's what we don't know. There have been no studies on the long-term effects of ProVigil. If you need more energy, doctors say, your best bet is to get more sleep. So why put yourself at undue risk when you could simply get more sleep and engage in habits that are conducive for good sleep? But our ProVigil users say they're going to keep on doing it, most of them in secret, raising a provocative question in a modern world where you don't know who around you is getting ahead simply by popping a pill, how far are you willing to go? Again, we've seen this incredible jump in the sales of this drug just over the past four years. And now the drug has gone generic, which means doctors say most likely we're going to see more people buying it. And does that make you more tempted having done this story? Well, look, I've done the story now for the past couple of months and 100 percent. Yes, I was tempted. But here's why I don't want to do it. If you talk to doctors, essentially, if you take the drug, you're rolling the dice. We don't know what the long term effects are. We do know, however, what three things you can do to have more energy. Get more sleep, eat better, do exercise. So the choice is, do you put in the hard work 
or do you just pop a pill when you don't know the long-term effects? Become a guinea pig. Again. Exactly. And your wife is a doctor and she says? A firm no. No way. No way.